today I'm going to be teaching you how to make foliar sprays for your garden. And I'm going to show you the way that I do it personally, since when I go to the garden, I don't really want to be trying to bring all these different bottles and measure everything out while I'm out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how I make a concentrate. So I actually pre-mix it all and then in a, in a gallon jug. And then when I get out to the garden, I just get a five gallon bucket, fill it with about four gallons of water, and then I add my concentrate and then I put it in the spray bottle and then I just spray it and it's that easy. You just, you just make the concentrate, pour it in the bucket, add the n amount of water to fill the bucket, mix it up, put it in your sprayer and you're good to go. So let's get started. So as you can see, um, we're going to come up close and this is kind of the recipe I'm going to be using for this specific spray, foliar spray, but really you can you can use whatever it is that your plant needs at the time. If you need to add any micronutrients, you can do that. Uh, with this spray, I like to use, um, I don't, I'm not using any micronutrients for this specific spray or any additional ones I should say because I put a bunch of micronutrients in our compost tea. So I'm not actually adding any extra micronutrients to my blend today. So you saw what's going into it. And this is, this is, um, I re highly recommend using a funnel for this, especially if you're on your kitchen counter. But anyways, first we're going to start off by adding our one pint of compost tea. And so I will add that. teaspoons of liquid kelp. So this is our homemade liquid kelp. And like I said, I'm going to put four teaspoons of this in. talked about how awesome kelp is for your garden. If it was about to get really cold and you're um, outside, it would actually be good to add maybe a little extra kelp just to help fortify the cell structures and the plants to help them resist the cold. So that was our kelp, our liquid kelp. Now we're going to go ahead and add our, a third of a cup of effective microorganisms. So for the effective microorganisms, it's essentially um, an anaerobic ferment. You can buy it in a bottle. It's just a specific, very specific ratio of microorganisms that have been developed in a lab and proven to help benefit plant health. This specific one is activated EM, so it's the same thing as making yogurt or something like that. You take the EM that you buy in the bottle and then you're gonna add the other ingredients to feed it and culture it until you make activated EM. And this is just a way to help your bottle of EM go further. So this is activated EM and I'm gonna add a third of a cup. So there's our activated EM. And then right here I have, there's actually a third of a cup of actual molasses in here but I dissolved it in water first, so that's why it looks like so much more than a third of a cup. But there's actually a third of a cup of molasses, and I just find it way easier to handle when it's dissolved. So I dissolve it in warm water. Now we're going to go ahead and add our fish hydrolysate. We're going to add one cup of fish hydrolysate. And you can also use sea mineral solids if you don't have fish hydrolysate. But for me, the fish hydrolysate is easier to come by. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to add a cup, like I said, into my, into my blend. So the fish hydrolysate provides a really good amount of 
naturally organic occurring nitrogen as well as some other macro and micro nutrients that are important for your plant. So there you go, that's, that's my concentrate. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add water. I'm gonna step over here. there you have it. That's your concentrated foliar feed for your plants in the garden. And we're just going to let this sit for about an hour while I do my other garden work. And then I'll show you how I spray my plants with foliar food. We are here in the garden. We were just in my kitchen a few moments ago mixing up our foliar spray concentrate. And now we're about to dilute it in our four gallons of water. And then we're going to spray on the garden. So this is our concentrate. Looking good, looking good. Go ahead and take that and pour it into our water. Swirl it around. And we are good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this little wand and go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Creating a nice vortex, get everything mixed in there. Don't lose too much of it outside of your bucket. So there you go. That's our foliar spray blend right there. And we're gonna go ahead and dump that into our spray um, bucket right here. And then I'll be right back and we'll start spraying in the garden. So this is my spray bucket. And I have already pumped it up. So we are fully powered to go. So this is a little kale plant that I have here. And I really want to make sure that I'm covering the whole surface of the plant. This kind of builds a castle wall and, and feeds the plant from a uh, foliar perspective. So I've gotten the top. Now I want to make sure that I really drench the underside of my kale plant. And I want to make sure that I'm getting the stalk of the kale plant. And I even want to make sure, oop, time to do a little pump, run out of steam here. So you can get bigger sprayers than this. This is a one gallon, but you can get up to four or five gallon sprayers. So we're back in business. So we have, we want to spray really the, the soil, get a good drenching in there of the foliar feed feed the soil, feed the roots, feed the microbes. There's lots of good microbial food in here and microbes themselves to colonize. So that's that's one plant that's uh, that we've sprayed and that's the whole process really. And you just do that for all your plants and they will thank you and then you will thank them. And that's it and I hope you'll join me back for my next video. Have a good one y'all.